If there's transparent object in the scene, rendering them correctly can be quite challenging. Uh, it's only problem when transparent objects are overlapped through the camera's view. A standard way is to order the center of object according to the depth from the camera and render back to front. But this approach can make tricky adders in case they are intersecting or enclosing each other where some part of the object are in front of the second object and other parts are behind. So in this video, I will cover an order independent transparency, which is about how to render transparent object correctly. So the algorithm we use for this is called depth peeling, which the transparency is dealt with at the pixel level rather than object level. There's a few things you should know to implement this technique. The first is, you know, we will get a number of nearest layer from the camera, which means there should be a corresponding number of multiple paths for drawing a scene. And the second is, when drawing each pass, the previous pass depth buffer is used as the minimal depth standard. So each pass can draw only what is behind the previous pass. And the last is, there is depth checking twice for each peeling pass. One for depth checking only behind the behind the minimal depth standard and another for conventional depth checking so that we can find out the current nearest uh, geometer layer just behind the previous pass. And now we get the resulting images of each peeling pass. We combine them back to front and finally we get the transparent object rendering order correctly without salting anything out. 